look in from the crowd. Um, well, let's hope they get that malfunction cleared up pretty soon. That was weird. But hello, everyone. Um, I understand that the Go Home Show is, you know, of course, the Go Home Show. We're going to subscribe to Scramble, but... Eh, on House Show 4 and the Go Home Show, I neglected to book a couple matches to further some feuds, and, um... Well, I decided tonight I'm gonna do that, but also I wanted to announce some things that are gonna happen at Subscriber Scramble. Um, I have decided to debut, yes, another pair of championships. This one, actually, is for you guys. They are the Subscriber's Championships. And if we can get a, you know, a picture of both the male and the women version of the titles. Yes, there are titles for both divisions. Now, the, the title is going to show up here first, I believe, is the males one. Yes, it is. That is the males division subscriber championship. That will be held in a fatal four-way at Subscriber Scramble to crown our inaugural champion. And I believe two of the competitors will be revealed tonight. But also, here is the women's version of the Subscribers Championship. It's a... They're both a little kooky couple of championships. I know. But, you know. Each his own. Anyway, this women's Subscribers Championship will be held in a mat... in a match. Of course. Which match? Well, it's already a match that's been scheduled for Subscriber Scramble. Ronnie Ann and Pacifica Northwest in the Steel Cage. Winner not only gets bragging rights, but walks away the inaugural RCCW Women's Division Subscribers Champion. And not only that, and those aren't the only matches, folks. We're also going to see the reunion, perhaps only for one night or permanently, I don't know. But we'll see the reunion of the high-impact hitmen, Matt Castle and Pete Corvus, taking on Lincoln Loud and Dipper Pines. That was a requested match, and I thought it would be brilliant to add onto the card. Also, I've decided this. Because Team International want to come to CWA and invade, and Neville so clearly wants a shot at the Global Championship, I'm decreeing this. It's going to be Neville versus Melchard Caranto for the Global Championship with all outside interference and accompanying, is that even a word? I don't know. But any managers will be barred from ringside. It will be them and a no-holds-barred match. And you know what else? Screw Eldon Sharpley's hatred of creation stars. At Subscriber Scramble, we're going to have ourselves a Community Creation Fatal 4-Way match. Just to display some more CWA talent. It'll all be new additions to the roster. So you can bite my ass, Elden Sharply, and eat my shorts. Because I'm the boss, and I do whatever the hell I want. Well, with that out of the way, hello everyone, it's Rick C here. And welcome back to RCW now. Like I said, I know the whole thing with, um, uh, you know, go home show, yada, yada, yada. But, uh, I had to, we had some rivalries and announcements we had to book, but. Oh! And it looks like this is our first competitor announced for the Subscribers Championship for the Males Division. By popular demand, Ermac. Ermac making his return to the ring after No Way Out. I believe last we saw Ermac was at No Way Out. He was scheduled for release on RCCW about a couple weeks ago. However, popular demand said, no, you got the subscribers wanted Ermac to stay in RCCW. And RCCW officials said, hey, if, they, if the subscribers want him to stay, we'll let him stay. And Ermac's not only that, but he was even given a contract 2K18. He has yet to sign the contract to, to, to He has yet to sign the contract to 2K18, but he has said if the subscribers want me, I will gladly sign it. But he has not signed it just yet as there it's not because of his own will, it's probably because 
Um, a lot of people are still signing up for 2K18. Like, even new characters and old characters are signing up. Ermac, dog, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make an appointment to sign up with the guys. Ermac, you know, considering he's from Outworld, he doesn't have a telephone, he doesn't have a computer, he's gotta, you know, send mail by telekinesis, but sometimes, you know, the telekinesis fucks up the mail. And, um, you know, we, we don't get the, we don't get his messages. Excuse me. So, we set him up on a date where he can renew his contract after subscriber scramble, but who on earth could be his opponent? Ermac awaiting his opponent here. Oh, well, wait a minute! Timmy Turner! I just dragged out the anger video game nerd! I, I guess that was gonna be his opponent, but... Oh, wait a minute, Turner coming down to the ring and Ermac preparing for a fight and... Oh, you've gotta be kidding me! SpongeBob, boot of tune! Oh no, SpongeBob and Turner are in the building! Oh no, 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 no! 47 meters down! Oh, and this, this crowd is living and Turner's got a microphone and he's getting in the ring. I have reached my patience end with the disrespect I've been receiving. I've taken the fight to a current and a former world heavyweight champion, and yet you still think I'm some kind of joke. You people are in for a harsh reality check, because a new Timmy Turner is born. My eyes are wide open now, and it's time for a change. SpongeBob, it's time for the Tomb Killer. Get this bitch up. Wait, what? A tomb killer? Oh, wait a minute, they're picking him up! Oh, wait. Oh, magic killer! I guess that's the tomb killer in Nick Club. Oh, man. The Nick Club is not taking it anymore. Timmy Turner, especially, he's gone off the deep end. I think that loss of Drew McIntyre on Morris channels finally driven him over the edge. So that aside, folks, up next we're going to see a match from following Beach Blast, a fallout of the match. It's Ayano, former partners Ayano Ashi and Ronnie and Santiago going one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, wait a minute. All. Oh. There comes Rowdy Ronnie Ann with their new theme. Get in the ring, H Block X. Yep, folks, this is her new theme song. She she chose this herself. We need to make her entrance a little longer so we can get the full theme in. Anyway, here comes her opponent. It's Yandere Chan. Ayano Ashi. Lincoln Loud Telly is not in the building tonight, considering um, he's, he's getting ready for his match. Teaming with Dipper against the high-impact Hitman, and also he's, uh, he's kind of recovering from the uh, the whole table incident with Marconi. Considering that was basically yesterday, or, mm, it was sometime this week. And here comes uh, Taro Yamada in a very odd attire. That's kind of that's kind of weird looking. But he is leading his his Ayano to the ring. <sighs> These two have been quite an interesting pair in our CCW. 
both were actually in um, 2K16 Season 0, I believe. I mean, I could literally make a video about the history of RCCW. If you guys want that, sure. I'll make a, I'll make a video. Excuse me. I burp. If you guys want a, um, a history of RCCW, sure, I'll sit down and recoup it. I'll sit down and maybe think about some old stuff, like think about what I used to do back in the day. But I don't know. Oh god, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. But knowing these two, it's not going to be a quick match. And the matchup is underway. Right. Oh, Ronnie Ann with a drop kick there. Nice drop kick there by Ronnie Ann. Ronnie. Oh. Powerbomb. And already going for like a flipping bridge. Not even a one count. Got a, a belt up there. Off the rope. I remember I used to like yawn every video. Oh, look at Ronnie going after the leg. After that leg. And Ronnie, quick as a cat to the top. Moonsault, no. Kick to the gun. Ronnie Ann. What's she looking for? Oh, no. Went for a DDT perhaps, but no, it is countered out of by Ayano. Honestly, I don't feel like jesting today, folks. I'm very tired. Oh, look at this. Look at the power of Ayano there. Deadlift German Super. Bringing that ass. Bringing that Lantino ass closer. That's Lincoln's. Oh god! Oh, and a cattle mutilation there. Shades of Brian Danielson. I believe somebody else did it too, but Haley got all the top of my head. Oh, jeez! A nice roundhouse kick there from Ronnie. From Rowdy Ronnie Ann. They don't call her Rowdy for nothing. Wink. Oh, blowing for a hurricane, Ronna, But look at Ronnie. Power bomb. Oh, this frog splash, but kind of hit her in the throat, I think. Near the head and the throat. Ronnie Ann, who we last saw her here at Africa, had at Beach Blast, where she was unsuccessful along with Ayano in capturing the Co-op Championships. However, that has not discouraged Ronnie Ann. She's been getting herself ready for her match with Pacifica. At subscriber, that's one of our like big matches scheduled for the event. Considering now the subscribers championship is on the line between those two, you gotta think maybe perhaps that Sunset Shimmer, who Pacifica attacked after Beach Blast, has got something to say concerning um, that that attack. I don't think Sunset is finished with Pacifica and vice versa. Oh my God, hanging Iano up in the rope, but. Also, some news is that, um, good friend Moore, um, you know Moore, if you haven't subscribed to him, I'll probably eat your face if you don't subscribe to Positively Moore. So do it, or I'm gonna go that one guy from Florida on you. And Ronnie Counter, but, um, he made an announcement on, um, he's, he's been, he's been great on the Google Plus community. He's been, um, um, spamming the community with, um, with updates with 2K18, and that's, Unlike Dana Donahue, that's good spam. I want to be spam with that kind of stuff because the 2K18 hype is real. And um, because of him, I actually, I, I'm not watching these update videos because I'm a, I'm a weird person. I, I get, I'm like, I want to be surprised and stuff, but then again, I want to know. And some things that he's let me know is, is that um, we're going to have five-way matches, apparently. Now that... I, that the only time flyaway matches I've ever been done to my knowledge in WWE game history. Hold up here. Ooh, dropping the arm in a Fujiwa arm breaker. But um, the last um, time there was ever a five-man match in two in any games, WWE 13 with a championship scramble. And we got Ronnie in with an inside cradle, and also some good new. So um, any of my moderators, more is one of the moderators. Um, when I say spam, that's not, I don't mean it bad, the bad kind for more. I mean like, 
he, I mean, he's rapidly posting things about 2K18. And that's good stuff. I want, I want that kind of stuff in the RCW community. Like, be update, we're all updated on what's going to happen come 2K18. And, oh, jeez. And one thing I am concerned about with 2K18, I, I watched a bit of Chris Danger's, um, or, well, Dank Op, Dank, Dank Ops, um, video, his thoughts on the, you know, the, the game. And he said the Elimination Chamber was practically unplayable. Hold up your Ayano, Wings of Love! Wings of Love there, but he said the chamber was practically unplayable, and that that's concerning. But he said it was an early version of the game, and I, I do hope that, um, excuse me, that is fixed before, because you can't release a game that does not work when one of its bigger features does not work. The Elimination Chamber is a must-have in any WWE game. I mean, that's the whole point of our CPV No Way Out, which, again, we will have for 2K18 with our new and improved Elimination Chamber. But also, it's concerning, considering if a six-man match is, like, is unplayable, imagine how worse an eight-man match is. Yeah. But hopefully, that's all going to be fixed before release. I pre-ordered it. I'm very hyped to go get it. My awesome dad... Um, he helped me pre-order it. That's the first time I ever pre-ordered a game. Oh, nice kick there. Like, kind of like a, um, black mass, I think. Kind of like a black mass kick there. And I don't know what she was doing there, but... Uh, my awesome dad helped me out. He said he, he pre-ordered it for me. I'm like, I kept nagging. I keep nagging him about October 13th. I'm like, I even... He threw a piece of garbage out. Like, it was biodegradable garbage. He threw it out of his window. When I was driving me off, a oh, nice power snap, power, power slam there. I threw, I pick it up, throw it back at him. I say, October 13th, bitch. I'll hold up here, Ronnie and David, you got a new move. Oh, jeez. Like a elbow, like a forearm to the back. Knocking Ayano clean out. Oh, but no, Ayano is still in it. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, Moore has been extremely helpful in, um, in supplying information with two, about 2K18, um, like some, something, oh, Ronnie and back in the ring, but some things that he's taught, he's posted is, Mar will Maurice be a playable character? That I actually am very curious about, because, you know, she was a wrestler at one point, well, I don't know if she was that good. I, I don't remember many of her matches. And I don't went for the cover here. One, I don't want to kick out, but... Yeah, that's something I'm curious about. And he's also, you know, been um, linking a lot of video update videos to the community. And uh, shout out to him for that. He's been doing great. Going for a nice front drop. He got a kip up there by Ayano. So uh, special thanks to Moore for that, man. Like, giving us all these up these awesome-ass updates. And Ronnie ain't going to work with his fist to the face. But, you know, he's been hook us he's been hooking us up with the good stuff. Hooking us up with um, up ni nice juicy updates for 2K18. The hype train is real, folks. But back on topic. Come 2K18, Moore's channel will be focusing more on um, women's division. Which, you know, um, right now Moore's channel does not exactly have a very um, diverse women's division. And, you know, that's understandable. Considering that Moore's, Moore's the type of channel... Like, his channel does not have a specific theme... Uh, let me tell you, um, RCW basically does have kind of a theme. It's, um, it's characters that, um, uh, well, it, it's, it's fictional characters. That's the theme for RCW. And, uh, hey, I don't know, nice scent on there. But, um, um, his channel is, like, pretty interesting. It's got WWE stars and oh wait a minute, look at Ayano rolling through the alley oop. <coughs> rolling through one, two, and no Ronnie kicks out at two. Saving herself in this match. Back suplex by Ayano. But um like I was saying and the problem is that um he did he doesn't have quite the division. I mean I think his current champion is Bailey. But I don't think you would know that, considering 
you know, she doesn't show up. I think the last women's match they had was at Extreme Rules, and that was quite a while ago. Hold up here. Oh, and on, oh wait, she's in trouble. Oh, and Hanazuki just commented on my video saying to Kermit the Frog, shut up. Hold up here, Ronnie going for a new finisher. Skull crushing finale. The skull crushing finale there by Ronnie, which apparently is the move that Soda Pop Smith now. Oh no, she's going for the skull tap. The skull tap here. That is her signature punt. Oh, here we go. Skull tap. Ooh, skull tap. That's got to be it. Ayana Watch has got to be out of it. One, two, and no. A kick out. Ronnie Ann is in shock. I'm in shock too. Well, I guess that's what you say. Insanity um, blocks out the pain, I guess. But. I'm actually very happy that Moore is going to focus on the women's division. And considering that Miss Ronnie Ann is going to be part of the women's division. And as with um, as with Lynn and some of the Loud Sisters, I'm very excited to see, come to 18, what women will debut. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know, Ember Moon will show up. She's pretty... Oh, wait a minute. Ronnie Ann rolling up. Rolling Ayano through. There's the calf killer. Ronnie Ann logging in a calf killer. Oh my god, she's cranking out some new moves. Ronnie Ann, the only move she's actually kept from her original moveset is the Skull Tap. And Caro has got to be anxious. But, um, yeah, folks. Um. Oh, wait, hold up here. Ayano misses the Skull Tap, rolling up Ronnie Ann. Two. No, oh, another kick out. But, um. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what Moore has to offer for his women's division. And, you know, his channel um, significantly is improving. I mean, not content. I mean, his content's always been good. Moore's channel's content has always been, like, good quality matches. I like, uh, like, some of the matches. Like, one match was the Skilled Foundation versus Nico Bellic and CJ. They had three matches. All three of those matches for the tag titles were phenomenal. I, I enjoyed them thoroughly. And when I say when I say Moore's improved, I mean he's actually starting to do commentary, and that's something I like. Because you know, um, commentary. Oh, nice forearm there by Ronnie Ann. But see, commentary helps explain story. You know, and stuff like that. Like you, you don't have to. Like people aren't left in the dark about maybe a match or you know stuff like that. Like when RCW started out, we didn't have commentary. We had nothing because. Um, I didn't have a working headset with a mic, sadly. I snapped power slam there by Ronnie Ann. Uh, and we started out about about maybe a month ago. Look at Taro. Come on, man. Pulling the referee out. Oh, Ronnie Ann putting up another specific symbol. But, um... Yeah, more is... Um, oh, wait, hold up here. Ronnie going for another calf killer. Got her in the calf killer. Ayano could very well tap, but like I was saying, Moore started doing commentary, and I hope that's not a one-time. I hope, I hope it's a more permanent thing. Like he's gonna start doing commentary more often. One thing I, one thing about Moore is I, I do like a lot of his content. Um, perhaps he can work on another controller and doing kind of kind of like what I do, or have more, sometimes do it. Of one for the wings of love, but no kick right to the skull, knee to the head, and Ronnie into the middle rope here. Oh, it went for the blockbuster. Only got her a little bit there, but um, I'm hoping more kind of like does more, um, like more edit, like more advanced editing stuff, like kind of like what I do, like you know, breaking the fourth wall here a little bit. Um, he um, he starts doing like pre mid match interferences, like example, what happened at No Way Out with um, the Mass Man and Adam Aries. And going for a spring with frog splash, but no. Um, we're not breaking KP anymore. Let's go back on the match. But yeah, I, I do like more. More has is doing great for himself. He needed to subscribe to Positively More. Give the guy a lot of love. He's a great guy. Forearm to the back. Elbow to the back of the skull again by Ronnie Ann. Ronnie Ann. You've got to think. She's got to be thinking. She's got to do something here. Kick to the leg there by Ronnie, and Ronnie now countering, shoving aside Ayano off the ropes, and Ronnie! 
a flying forearm punch and all right Ronnie Ann signaling for it Ronnie signaling for it he goes behind skull crushing finale beautiful oh and Taro's trying to tell Ayano kick out and that's it Ronnie Ann is victorious what a match that was so, in conclusion, Moore is doing great for himself now. He's In no time, I bet he's going to make it to... You know, hopefully, we can get him to 100 subs at least very soon. Very underrated. I think we, he, he deserves more. Uh, Moore deserves more. So yeah, let's hashtag get more to 100. Let's start it right here, folks. Hashtag get more to 100. If you haven't un down it, you need to subscribe to Moore. I'll leave a link to his channel in the, in the comments. I'll be sure to leave a link to his channel in the comments. So that you can go subscribe to him. He's got a lot of cool stuff like um, FAM characters. He's got WWE, TNA. Um, you know, he's, he's got the, quite the creative mind. But in conclusion, go subscribe to more right now or I'll eat your face. But Ronnie Ann picks up the win over Ayano. And also, by the way, thanks more for all the 2K18 update videos you post on the you post on the um, community along with the you know the MVR stuff. He's like MVR is a hangouts thing that we do, um, and he's the one who usually um, posts the results of matches that we do and stuff. And he let me post the card for our upcoming Extreme Fools CP uh, pay per view. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good shit. But there, you, there is your win. In conclusion, yeah, just go subscribe to more and thank you more for all you do in the community. Ronnie Ann gets the huge win over her former part, her temporary partner. Ronnie Ann with a huge win. Oh. Wait a minute. What the? Oh, wait a minute. Ronnie. Oh no, Pacifica. Pacifica Northwest, her opponent. That's subscriber scramble. Ronnie. That's subscriber scramble. I will leave you in a bloody pile whilst I stand above your mangled corpse, holding the subscribers championship high above my head and ruling all over you peasants. And then I will seek out Sunset Shimmer and take her gold as well. It is the era of Northwest. Oh man, the Louses are here to help, but Ronnie Ann is denying the help. Ronnie Ann is gonna leave on her own. She doesn't need help. Oh man, Ronnie Ann is in for a tough challenge at Subscriber Scramble. We'll see you then, folks. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll meet you at Subscramble. Great balls of